Today is the day. It's finally my DC trip. Um, I do not like the Orlando airport. It takes forever. I was in line for over 30 minutes. There was a wheelchair line, but it was hidden, so I was in the wrong line um, at first for security. But the just check-in line, it's just frustrating. I wish that, like, not trying to be difficult, but I feel like wheelchair users should always have and other people who just take longer should have a special line because it takes them longer. It always takes them longer. I thought there was a wheelchair line. Now it is my fault that I left a little bit late. However, anyway, we made it. We're here. I am exhausted. I got off of work at midnight last night. It was an hour drive home, which means that I didn't get to bed till 1.30. And um, I will be sleeping probably on the plane. But anyway, we'll let us begin our journey. Oh, and then also update on the wheelchair. We're using this guy because I finally, so last update, um, I just decided to pay out of pocket to fix my smart drive. I sent it in, got it back last Thursday. And um, they, when I got it back, it wouldn't turn on. Turns out there's probably something wrong with the circuitry. It was great. It was great, great. Yeah. And um, then I was supposed to find a place that was local to be able to do the repair. And they were just in the park. Well, they're like, yeah, it should be done between Tuesday and Wednesday. I call on Tuesday and I'm like, hey, when is it going to be done? I need to be able to like figure out when to pick it up. And they said, um, oh, it's actually been delayed until next week. So then I called the place that is sending the part, because that was with the people who have the actual smart drive right now. And um, the people who are supposed to send the part were like, yeah, we haven't even sent it yet. Thank you. Uh, it was under my impression since you guys messed up the first time that you would just you know, send the part as soon as possible because I'm leaving. And I told you guys I was leaving, and I told you guys that I originally did like I understand that this is a tight turnaround however um I was not prepared for my device to come still not working when I paid you a significant amount of money to fix it and um the guy's like ma'am we're not Amazon I was like how belittling can you be I'm literally like I haven't left my house all I've done is gone to work and come straight home because I'm always so tired so anyway because this power chair the battery is not consistent doesn't work very well um my mom thankfully offered to purchase new batteries for this chair we're gonna hope that it lasts um so far so good i guess the guy that because i bought this chair used said that um because it was older the mileage might just have been off like it just didn't last and it's supposed to last 12 miles so we will see um i am petrified that i'm going to get to dc and uh the airport has broken it because yeah anyway so peace uh wish me luck made it to the hotel this is our view so pretty um um is still traveling I have been here for like an hour, a little bit over an hour. Um, I got to do early check-in and I need to go grocery shopping. So I've been working on this market bag that I've been crocheting lately because um, I'm learning to crochet now. And um, I finished that. It's much smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I didn't have enough yarn to like make it super huge. But it's a perfect size for my, my wheelchair. Anyway, um, it was an uneventful experience. I was so tired. Um, I slept on the plane as much as I could. It was really nice though when I got here. My Lyft driver was wearing a mask and they also had the windows open, which was very, very nice to just have that. Um, and they also lifted my chair into the car for me, so I didn't have to worry about that either. So, so far, so good. Um, but I need to go hunt down a grocery store now. Um, we will see how that goes. 
Um, and yeah, I've just been charging my phone a little bit before we leave. But or before I leave I'm by myself until M gets here. So um, I tried to go to the like a market, but there really wasn't a market, and it was it was not what I thought. I don't know. I don't know how to read a map, I guess. So I ended up going to Wawa instead. I got some snacks. Um, they didn't really have much. They didn't have what was on my list for sure, but I got at least some lunch and some snacks for today. We're going to try to go find a convenience store later, but M is almost here. I came back. I ate my lunch. I took a nap. Oh my gosh. I did not want to wake up, but, um, I need to run downstairs because I won't be here any minute. I'm so excited. Guess who I found? Hi. Guess where we are? The curb. Guess where we're not? In our room. Up there. Guess where our room is? Up there. Up there where all the water is pouring out of. I don't know if it's picking up whatever. Yeah, no. We have been evacuated. I've been here all of five minutes. Yeah, uh, we literally got off the phone with Em's mom, and gushing from the ceiling. gushing water, water, brown water, water. brown oh, water, like by my clothes too. Uh huh. So then I go to grab my clothes, and then the alarm starts going off. I honestly wouldn't have heard it, um, and <laughs> that's why you always travel with your token able-bodied friend. Yeah, that's what we're here for. We're we're like alarm dogs. Can or you whatever. Hold that? Yeah. Okay. Whatever animals that like so service dogs. Then this is not what you're supposed to do when no. there's a fire alarm. Never do not do this. No. But if you you're new here, I had a house fire a few years ago. And I have siblings with disabilities who have to go places very quickly on occasion. And um my lesson, my life lesson from the house fire was don't leave anything behind. Um because they say they'll give it back to you. They will not. It may come back to you. It will not be. It will not be the same. So, uh, anyway, we chucked as much stuff as possible into my suitcase because Em hadn't unpacked the I, I, I literally just got there. So, we chucked my clothes in there. We chucked. The, <laughs> we got makeup. We Everything. got the. We got. I moved in i move into hotels <laughs> and we were out like that but here's the thing i don't think anybody else would have been able to do what we not did. nearly as because fast, no. we are equipped and you gotta go to the er in an instant <laughs> with yeah. your stuff like you can't mm-hmm. go you without. can't not go because the er does not have your stuff exactly so you have to go i have gone with bags full of textbooks that i packed on the way out the door um, we have made it to an ER that was almost at 45 minutes away from our house in about 25 minutes. You have to keep being able to... You gotta to, go. You gotta go and you gotta, you gotta be gotta able move. to live while you're there. Because you're gonna be there for a while. Yeah. So we don't know what's happening. We don't know where we're gonna be. We're definitely gonna get a new room. In theory. Ooh, I can't stay there. <laughs> uh, and, the, and the piece of resistance is my chair is still... Upstairs. In the room. Yep. Because it's on the third floor and they shut down the elevator. Because even though it wasn't a fire, the fire alarm went so off. So thank God I'm an ambulatory wheelchair user. Otherwise. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think I could have done with that one TikTok video I sent you where the lady carried her husband. No, I'm. I don't have the upper body strength for that. I don't go to the gym. I, I don't I exercise. Passed. You said when you saw that was. It's like, oh, there My love like does have, have limits. limits. Yep. Yep, it does. Yep. And it's that. So, uh, we, we're we just hanging out here. We've got Good our picnic I, blanket. And an umbrella. And an umbrella. So, you know. And we're just hanging out. We called the moms um, who asked so many questions. That we do not have the answers to. And we're just like, we're just, we're just living. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're just. We're here. We're here. We're not dead. And my, my mom, last night, on the drive home from work at 1 in the morning, uh, was saying how all these bad things keep happening to my family and how it should be in batches <laughs> and the insurance guy is like but it's in batches of three so it should be fine and I pointed out to her I was like actually we've had four bad things happen to the family and then five if you count my wheelchair situation so it was you 
So we were trying to find the last six bad things. And Shall I pull out my oracle deck and have it blame you? No, no, we're good, <laughs> we're good. So, yeah, we're sitting here. Yeah, I've got clothes, my oracle at least. deck is real mean to you. You don't have underwear. <laughs> <laughs> at least you have outside clothes. I have outside clothes. I don't have inside clothes. <laughs> Because I left everything in the drawer that was in the drawer. Well, I was right by the drawer. You could have said drawer. I forgot about the drawer. <laughs> I remembered my hair dryer. It was a new hair dryer. It was a $50 hair dryer that I got for $25 off of Amazon. My priorities are messed up. They're not the greatest. <laughs> I'm very much regretting getting up at 5 o'clock in the Good morning. So they moved our room. Um, we got settled in and just went to bed last night, but they gave us a fridge at least because the last room didn't have a fridge. Um, they also gave us a whole suite, like a whole suite. Um, so we got some groceries last night ordered and they got delivered today and we're getting ready to go to Planet Word, which is super exciting. Um, any Thing else that I can think of? No, I'm excited to get the day started. We have a fridge. The fridge is and a, a and a microwave and, and a stove top. top. Um, is there a pot in here? Yes, I'm pretty sure there's a pot in here. Um. Anyway, uh, let's show off our outfits real quick. What are you wearing? Maximals. Show the details. <laughs> Beautiful. Pockets, there. Yeah. A uh, bunch of jewelry. Look at the rings. Bunch of jewelry. Necklace, little bee brooch, and then cute little vest. It's very snug. Uh, it looks fantastic. Oh. Hand sanitizer. The earrings come. Let's oh, yeah. see the yeah. earrings. Amazing. Ta da. The flow. So, start off. I have this amazing necklace that my friend gave me. Ooh, gotta love schmancy quote-unquote thrift stop stores run by old white ladies. My rings, Ooh. my mother's mother's ring, my great-grandfather's, and then cheap costume jewelry. Hey, Ooh. that's how you get the aesthetic. And then, oh, and then earrings, I think also gifted to me by my friend. My hair turned out so Your okay. hair, 360, 360 hair, turned out phenomenal. I am so happy. Uh, my little belt from Leafling, or uh, the bag from Leafling bag, a... That was from French Meadows, I think, on Etsy? Yeah, so on Etsy, Old Navy, ASOS, and then Ross from the shoes. Woo! But very excited for the day. Yes. Um... Are we going to get going? Heck yeah. Let's go. Yes, we're going to do the slide. <laughs> we just went to the best breakfast place ever. I am amazed. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So From cute. people who hate trying new things. And we hate trying new things. And we got the hibiscus tea sunrise, and it was one of those things that, like, the aftertaste was, even better than the was so much, like, even better than the original, like, sip. And uh, then I had an almond croissant, and it was phenomenal. And Em had banana, a banana uh, nut, loaf. nut loaf, and we are going on that slide before we leave. I swear we got to. <laughs> we got to go on that slide. All right. Now we're going to Planet Word because it we were a little bit early. So now we're gonna be here just on time. A short story dispenser. So we are just finishing up at Immigrant Foods because we did the puzzle room and did the puzzle. I just 
was helpful the best I could. Um, and we're going to go back into the planet ward afterwards and have fun there. I'm so excited. We're going to spend way too much money at planet ward. The food here is phenomenal. You guys ever go to a place and you're like, wow, this is kind of expensive. And then you get your food and you're like, this is not that place. This is, this is, you have a garden in the back. You are making everything fresh. They came out with a little flamethrower to brulee my buns. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of, but that's because we're not alcohol people probably, is our little martini place. We're not martini people, I think. We are alcohol that tastes like juice people. We are alcohol that tastes like juice people. So, um, so far, so fun. If you want some nice, strong drinks <laughs> they've got that i am so full so full but i'm so excited in the metro um we just got out of planet word we played on some slides and now we're gonna head to the smithsonian and go see a museum or two i've got three notches on my chair i do need to plug in sometime soon um i when we got to planet word and checked in they're like oh are you a content creator because they saw my mic and i'm like Yes, because I'm like I don't, I don't do it. It's a hobby. I, anyway, so they wanted me to tag them, but I want to say that I was really impressed with Planet Word. Everything was accessible. There was a photo booth that I thought I had to get out of my chair, so I did. But when we went in there, it just had little stools that I could move the stool and go in. There was. Um, captions on everything there was wide hallway space like the only time there was really anything that was kind of tight was when there's just a lot of people but um, overall super impressed with Planet Word I loved it in love with it would go back amazing 10 out of 10 experience so yeah I lost a little bit of my recap footage at the end of the day and so what you're about to see is just me finishing up that recap. Um, what you missed is me just talking about how really I am impressed by um, the portrait galley's recognition of racism and um, overall just American history and colonialism. But finding that portrait of the Queen of Hawaii was, was amazing to see actually in person. But um, yeah, just very, very sad. Um, lots of things our country needs to work on overall but then um, we just kind of wandered through the portrait gallery and I kept getting distracted um, but I think we're gonna we're gonna start our day there tomorrow but we found out that we were right by um, Chinatown and so we might go explore Chinatown maybe I'm not sure but um, 
it was pretty easy, but we <laughs> getting back to the hotel, my chair was like on its last legs. Oh my gosh, it was so close. It's it was a blinking red when we got here and I'm I kept telling him like, okay, it's not gonna die, die until this happens and then that thing would happen like uh, it blinks before it dies. And then I was like, okay, but it slows down before it dies fully. And it didn't slow down until we got in the room, thank God. So um, it is plugged in and it's charging for the night. And we'll see how that goes for tomorrow. But at the National Portrait Gallery, there was lots of plugins that seemed to be available for the public. So we just might find some places for us to put it for a little bit find a nice gallery that we like um just gorgeous 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 um space and then go explore more galleries but i feel bad i was complaining a lot about my butt because it hurt because i'm using that power chair instead of my wheelchair and there's totally benefits and i keep trying to think about the benefits of using the power chair because like the terrain is really rough and so the terrain is not as rough as it would be like I am able to not have to worry about pushing myself however it's not very comfortable like long term and my butt hurts so bad it hurts so bad it was like sitting on a like stiff stool all day oh boy and um <laughs> so uh I don't think there's a way to solve that. I think that's just going to be the way it is. But overall, it was a really good day. I had lots of fun. Um, I want to take a path before bed. But I got this Planet Word sweatshirt. It's super soft and comfy. Strongly recommend that museum. I think that was definitely my favorite part of the day. For sure. Um, especially for its accessibility features. Just genuinely a great experience. And... Um, even like the accessible entrance was the main entrance. Um, and it was just beautiful. So 10 out of 10, strongly recommend. Please support them. Good morning. I am just here to look pretty. I make my able-bodied friends do all the work. You laugh until I accidentally run you into something. I will take over from here. I just needed to get my camera out, but kind of thought I should stick with it um anyway we just got caught well coffee coffee <laughs> uh we got we went to compass cafe or coffee compass coffee which is now our new favorite place to go it's super good and of course it doesn't exist where either of us live yeah it doesn't exist where either of us live and so I got a pastry and or I got my almond croissant again, and then I also got a hot chocolate. Um, the chocolate was very, very, very sweet. So if we do it again tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do hibiscus tea thing, that sunrise that we got yesterday. But here we are. We're going to the Farragut West Station. I don't know. But um, we're gonna go back to the portrait gallery today and then have a picnic and the other art museum the other art museum because last time the modern art wing was closed yep and we're just gonna see how much stuff we can get done we are running a little bit later than we were yesterday just because we wanted to start a little bit later but also because we had to go back to the room i need a jacket and had to do some stuff for work i called the smart drive people which by the way i called them wednesday when i found out that my smart drive stuff was not going to make it in time <laughs> and uh they're like yeah we can see what we can do but ma'am this isn't an amazon and smart drive people overall are very polite uh especially when you get to deal with max i don't know who this other guy was i don't know what his problem was but he was very rude and uh i was like no i don't spend that much money on amazon um and i expect when things come from amazon that it works the first time that it's sent um, and I kind of expect the same when I'm spending more money. And anyway, so they sent it out that day, apparently. So in an ideal world, I'm going to get back Wednesday and I'll drive straight to Tampa. Um, my sister doesn't know this yet, 
we're gonna go straight to Tampa. Otherwise, I have to drive Thursday morning. I'll probably end up driving Thursday morning, but oh well. I don't know where we're going. I'm just following you. But anyway, so ideally, I'll be able to pick it up before I go back to work. Um, the bad news about work is that technically my program ended on Thursday, but my <laughs> pay, I only got paid for the CP pay for Friday, which is fine. But the good news is they managed to take out my 401k for the one day of work that I worked as a full-time <laughs> employee of Disney. Um, so now I have $20 in my 401k. <laughs> nice. Uh, I will retire with that. I am actually very, very excited about having, you know, savings and all of that kind of stuff. And I have to figure out my benefits when I get back. But that is neither here nor there. Um, that is a problem for That is a day. problem for another day. We are putting off all of our issues and going to explore museums art. and art. Because look at, look at how amazing M looks. Like, seriously, I was going to wear... Yeah, you got to zoom in on the earrings, man. Oh, I know. The, the earrings. I don't know if you can even see them, but... They're Van Gogh. They're Van Gogh. They're very, very cool. I wasn't even aware a dress today. 17th and... That's, that's eight. I think we're the We are a tad lost. I should probably pull out my maps, but that's part of the fun. Adventure. 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 <laughs> Getting mugged. Anyway, <laughs> but I'll show you guys my outfit later. Walking into a wall. I'm going to push Madeline into a wall. If they keep annoying me. So, uh, I will see you later. You may never see Mem and again, but oh my gosh, there's so many bumps in the road. <laughs> we finally made it to the metro. It was actually pretty much straight across from where we got breakfast. Um, we didn't discover <laughs> that until we used up about a bar of my chair, but that's okay. Uh, we did find, well, okay, technically it's the wrong metro. Uh, because we had to go to the one, a different one, because when we finally found the elevator to the one that we wanted to go to, um, it was, uh, the, the door was blocked by some feces, um, and there was no way to go around, go around in my chair. So, we decided to take a longer route. So, we're gonna stop at, uh, the metro where whatever to transfer over and then we're gonna go from there to Chinatown uh, stuff. Part of the construction of the Washington DC's crosswalk timing. Could someone please explain why the short little ones have a minute to cross but the really long ones are like 20 seconds? Uh, we'd much appreciate it. <laughs> we almost got ran over by a bus and that wasn't even our fault and an SUV. I threatened Yeah we threatened or am threatened with uh, a water bottle. So, you know, they're quaking in their boots. <laughs> uh, now we are on to the Modern Art Museum, which I think M will have to, like, something will happen. M will end up in jail. If it's under construction still. If somehow, it's still under construction. I'm going to be then so mad. Because the other one was under construction too. Yes, because last time, if you guys have seen the video, uh, it was under construction when we tried to get there. And then this time, 
hopefully it will not be but this time the uh, portrait gallery which is also the national art gallery or something like that uh, american art gallery american art gallery was um They're the modern, modern art museum was under, construction. was under construction so now we're going to whatever this one is i'm really bad with the name i think this one's just like art yeah this is national just national art this is a national art museum with like international pieces and stuff. Okay. Point well. is, if there's no modern art, I'm just yeah. gonna sit down on the floor and cry. <laughs> if there's no modern art, um, I'm I, going to have the biggest autistic meltdown. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna deal with it. But <laughs> wish us luck. You're so mean to me. You started it. Okay. I got. Hey, I got that on camera. <laughs> Um, so we are now heading back to our hotel because once we got to the art gallery, I was told that I was not allowed to use this camera, um, at the gallery because it is a selfie stick. Uh, it's not a selfie stick, but whatever, whatever. I, I did furiously. Well, and he said it, he's like, I know it's not a selfie stick, but like anything that looks like that. I'm like, or like has a telescoping, whatever. Has because uh, it was like monopod yeah it was like if it was a monopod no tripods I'm like it doesn't extend it's it's a DJI it pocket it doesn't even have a flash but whatever um, I did furiously look it up afterwards and keep it solidly in my bag the whole time but it my sense of justice my favorite part of the uh, the trip back so far has was when we went through the park, and this guy um, was like, "I've seen you guys like three times today," and we're like, "Yeah, because we got lost, so lost earlier." But that's okay. Um, but anyway, plan for tonight is we are we have reservations for the melting pot because that's kind of our tradition um, for tomorrow, but. We think we're gonna cancel those reservations and for tomorrow and then do them tonight instead because if we go back to our room tonight and we don't know where we're going we will not be leaving um and i have to get out of this dress i love this dress I have to take this vest off. but i i gotta take i gotta take it off the sleeves are pinchy this vest is squeezing the life out of me <laughs> but you look amazing i look phenomenal okay we, before we before i like change we'll have to do a little a little show oh, our outfit things day. because it's oh, super cute here's my outfit for today if you don't like it you can leave same rings as yesterday teapot earrings got my little necklace from my great grandmother i think little great i don't know some some relative of mine i have a jewelry box that i raid every once in a while uh, pouch same as yesterday um oh my little hair also someone said that i looked lolita and i'm i'm i don't brave brave this that's a misunderstanding yeah my turn it. go away <laughs> Ta -da! green pants i had my belt the on best. but i took it off um same bracelet some different rings Oh yeah, Reed Van Books pin. I had earrings on, but I took them off because they were freaking heavy. I think but I they were really cool. Yeah, I think they found them this morning. Yeah. And then this leaf necklace. So, woo! Yay, now we can change. Hi friends, we are back on the metro on our day four of our trip. Um, we successfully found the coffee shop, went to the right metro place, and as soon as the elevator went down, the uh, train that we wanted to go on was already here. So we just went straight on. Um, so, so far, so good. It has been a smooth day. And we're going to go to the Air and Space Museum and then just kind of wander around the Smithsonian area and kind of enjoy some of our last day and then tonight we'll go back to our um, hotel and get packed up.
So it looks like our trip is officially over. Um, the walk, so we got to the airport really quickly because it was the same walk that we've been taking every day. We got Compass Coffee for breakfast. Um, and when we got to the airport, last year we took a lift to the airport to come back. And, um, so neither of us had come to the airport before and found out that it's a really long walk because it drops you off by Terminal 2 and you need a Terminal 1. So I of used course. up um, a light of my chair, which is fine because I didn't really need it. It's not going to be, I'm not going to be using it a ton. But um, this officially left me sad. Um, but I'll get to see them in November maybe. But... I am exhausted. My body is screaming at me. Um, I called the people that currently are doing the repair on my smart drive, and they got the parts finally to fix it, and they said, however, the batteries don't work. And I was like, the batteries that I just bought? And they're like, yes, the batteries that you just bought. So they had already called smart drive, and they are overnight shipping it free of charge. So I'm just really frustrated with Smart Drive. I'm really frustrated with the spinal. Um, really just frustrated in general. If it doesn't get there by tomorrow, I'm going to be very, very upset. And I'm going to be making some calls. I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, this is ridiculous at this point. I'm half convinced that they didn't even replace the battery. But I just need to get home and go to bed but thank you so much for joining with me on this journey i will see you guys some other time have a good day bye